All right, hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we've got something a little bit different. It's not a time lapse. This time, it's a block by block. Now, Green's doing a portal design video himself and one of the designs is this dragon portal. Now he's asked me to do a block by block for you guys so you can learn how to build it. So pretty much today we're gonna go through those and hopefully come up with a nice end product that looks something like this. Now you can either do it one or two ways, you can do it with the wings or you can do it without, that's completely up to you guys. So hopefully this is nice and easy to understand as this is my first video of this type. And we're going to go through it one by one. Alright, so let's get on to the first step. So we're going to start with our basic portal shape. This portal in particular is 5 by 7 blocks tall. However, we're going to be knocking out the corners to save a few blocks and to also benefit the shape later on. So what we're going to do is we're going to place three obsidian all in a line together and then build up one, two, three, four, five, six on both sides of that. Two, three, four, five, six. And then what, we were, what we're going to do is we're going to put three along the top and that's technically our 5x7 portal without the corners put in. So for the next step, we're going to be building the start of a shield. Now in the actual end build, the dragon is holding a shield that supports the portal that you walk into. So we're going to start the basic frame of this. And we're going to be needing our cyan hardened clay and polished andesite. And as you can see, it kind of follows around the frame. So what we're going to start by doing is we're going to be placing three blocks of polished andesite there in front of our portal above the bottom line and we're going to be placing another two diagonal on both sides after that we're going to be grabbing our cyan hardened clay and we're just going to follow around the frame of our portal so that's one two three four up three across the top and another four down again to add a little bit of shape to it, we're going to be adding two in the corner, two in the corners here, just to add this kind of weird uh, diagonal thing we have going here. Okay, so moving on to our third step, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some polished andesite, some stone brick, some buttons, and some stone brick slabs. This is going to be our shield base that we're going to do. Now what you want to do is we're going to outline our shield in polished andesite but we're not starting from here we're going to be starting one block up next to our cyan hardened clay and then we're going to build up another two on top of that and one more for good measure to go all the way around so that equals one two three four up so far then we're going to move across one up another one and we're going to keep following all the way around our shield shape Next, we're going to grab our stone brick slabs. We're going to place them in the corners here to add a bit of extra shaping to our shield. Grab our buttons for decoration and place them on the cyan hardened clay, like so. Make a little bit of a U-shape. So one, two, three, four, five buttons. Next, we're just going to grab our two stone brick stairs. We're going to place them where we didn't place our andesite. So we're going to place one upside down stone brick stair here and do the same to the other side. Now we're going to start thickening it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our stone bricks here and place one, two, three like so. And then we thicken the rest up with our polished andesite. We just follow the previous andesite that we've placed and make sure you only place against the backs of those polished andesite blocks. Okay, so step four, we're going to start building up our dragon. And of course, these are some basic um, rectangular prisms that we've got on the back to start as the base for our dragon. For the first one, we're going to be doing three, three stone bricks by five, going up by four. And this is put placed directly in the middle of our portal, central to the portal. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back of our portal, place one, two, three, four, five here. Then go back another two to equal three along the bottom and kind of fill in that rectangle there. Then, as previously mentioned, we're going to go up four blocks. 
So we, we've already done one layer, so that's one of our four. So we go one, two, three to total our four blocks height. One, two, three, four. And then we fill it all in up to that height. And that's one of the rectangular prisms done. Now, for the next one, we're going to be building it on top of the previous rectangular prism that we've made. This one is going to be two by three with a height of four. So let's build that one on top, central again to what we've previously done. So place three along here as per usual. Place another three behind it to make a two by, two by three rectangle. And then as previously mentioned, we gotta stack it up by four. So we've already done our first layer. So we go one, two, three, four, and of course fill this in so it's nice and solid. So we've got our two blocks back, three across and four up. And that concludes our next step. All right, so now we're gonna be starting to add a little bit of shape to our dragon. We've got our basic rectangular blocks here and we're going to be starting to build the body so it's got more of a curve and more of a bulk to what a dragon's body would look like. So for this one, you're going to need your cobblestone block, some stone bricks, and that's, that's it. Just cobblestone and stone bricks. So to make it easier, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the back. This might be a little bit confusing, but we're just going to kind of bear with it, I suppose. Now, as you can see, we're going to start here, looking like this type of cone triangle shape at the back. This is attached to our large, um, our large rectangular prism on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to go across five, two, and then one. So we're going to go to the back of here, go one, two, three, four, five. And you build three all in the middle build put another three on top of that and then do one in the middle like so now for the second one what we're going to do is we're going to basically build a smaller version of this triangle on top of this so what we're going to do is we're going to build one two three here in the middle another one two three like so and then another one like we had previously done now i think what we're up to is we're going to start off with doing these little we're going to keep going with these little feet we we have here. Little feet slash, you know, legs that we've kind of got rolling in. So what we're going to do is we're going to place two stone brick blocks next to our diagonal to our portal. So as you can see, there's our little portal frame and we're going to place here. Place two blocks here and do it on both sides. What we're going to do here now is we're going to start filling in this part before we get these little cobblestone blocks in. We're going to be getting this kind of weird L, thick L shape going on. As you can see, it's, it's a little bit uh, bulky, but it's a three by three square with two little bits on the ends with one little thing of cobblestone there. The cobblestone helps break up some texture for the build. So we go one, two, three. Behind the blocks that we've just placed, then you go up to to make sure that frame is nice and covered, and then you complete your little square. Now, as we said earlier, we do have a little cobblestone block here in the middle at the top, and we have another stone brick block down here at the bottom. We're going to do the same to the other side. So one, two, three, one, two, and then fill it all in. And then one little cobblestone block there and one stone brick block there. Now, we did break a couple of blocks, didn't we? They were both here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do those now. So we're going to place one little stone brick behind the outside one of the first two that we placed, diagonal to our portal. And then we place a 1x2 cobblestone row just there and do the same on the other side. So that's leaving one little space there, placing one block here and making this kind of upside down L shape. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. So one little block here behind the first outside block and then one cobblestone block on top and another one next to it on the right. All right, so as you can see, we've still got a bit of our portal showing. Now we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this type of L shape again kind of a backwards L but it's still an L nevertheless. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do 
an L shaped, a backwards L shaped with our stone bricks covering up that little portal frame there. So one, two, and then another one beside it. Then to make a little bit more of the uh, blocks complete with a bit of texture, we're going to get our cobblestone, place one block here to make a two by two square, and then place another two cobblestone on top like so. Then we do the same to the other side. Now that should be the next step complete, so let's move on. And this step includes building the heads. Now we're going to be needing some birch wood planks, some birch wood stairs, and a birch wood slab for this particular step. This helps define the tummy of the dragon and, you know, all the neck and the separation between the scales of the body. We're also going to be needing uh, stone bricks, some sto a stone brick slab, and a stone brick stair. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start our brick lineup. And by doing so, we're going to be doing a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 block tall pole. So we come back over to our build, and as we can see from the cobblestone that we placed in the previous step, we go right to the middle of all that stone brick, and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that will be the backbone of our neck. Now, as you can see, the transition from the body to the neck is very straight and at a 90 degree angle. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the center here and place one little stone brick. Now after that, what we can do is we can go across the top. So what we do is we place another one, two stone brick blocks next to our seven high pole. And then we go over another two, but we break this little block in here and place a backward stair facing the block that we had just placed. Now, what we have going here now is we kind of have another L shape going on for the little nose and snout. So we've already got one of the blocks there. So we go down by one and then we go across by another one and that makes the start of the nose. To finish it off with the stone brick on the head, for now at least, we put one little slab there to kind of give it a bit of a tip. Now we're gonna grab our birch wood blocks. We're going to put one slab next to the slab that we have just placed to start off the definitive body. See that little stair block that we've just placed? You get a birchwood plank block and you place that underneath and then you get your little stairs and you place them backwards to what the block we've just placed. Although to make it easier you might want to go across an extra one leaving a gap in the middle and going down one, two, like so, and then placing your birch wood stairs against that block to make sure they're facing in the right direction. Afterwards, we can just kind of build right down to, to the bottom here with our birch wood planks. Now, you could use um, stone bricks, but that's really up to you. Um, it can work better as a neck feature. So but regardless, you won't be seeing those unless you make some modifications. Now we're going to start working on the tummy of him. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right from where we have the stone bricks here. So diagonal to the last birch plank that we placed. We're going to go one, two, three, four, like so down right to the bottom. You're going to want to grab your birch wood stairs. You go down one from the top. You place one stair upright there, place some birchwood planks underneath, and place an, an upside down birchwood stair like so to make this kind of curve for the dragon's stomach. Now what we're going to do now is add a bit of side bulk to the neck so he's not so skinny. So you're going to want to grab your cobblestone and your stone bricks, and we're going to create more L shapes, but don't forget your two stone brick slabs for the little shape in here. So you're going to want to fly it over here and go on either sides of your birch planks that you've just placed. You're going to want to place down your stone brick slabs. Afterwards, you're going to get some stone bricks and just place them beside the stubs, slabs that you've just placed. Now we're going to keep going up the neck instead of going out to the side before we get a little bit side check. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our cobblestone and we're going to place it on top of the slabs that we've just placed down. So after that, we're going to get two stone brick blocks and place one, two, each on top of each other, as we can see there, and do the same on the other side. Now after that, what we're going to do 
is we're going to get a couple of cobblestone blocks and place them on top of the blocks that we've just placed. So it's like one big pole, but two for each block. So one, two. And then do the same for the other side. One, two. Right next to our birch blocks there. After that, you're going to want to go across one behind the cobblestone block on the top and place one block there and another one on top of it and do the same to the other side. Now we're pretty close to finishing this step so let's grab two more stone bricks and one stone brick slab and we're going to bulk it out as you can see it's a rather flat bend there. So what we're going to do is we're going to place two blocks adjacent to the ones that we have just placed behind and then we do one stone brick slab on top just to alter the y coordinate a little bit more so it's not too flush with these guys. So we're almost done we just we just need two more stone bricks here and another two cob pieces of cobblestone to kind of bulk up the neck a little bit more. So you want to place your two, piece of, two pieces of cobblestone on top of that one remaining andesite block on the top and do that for both sides. Then place another two stone bricks on either side of the neck just to give it a bit of a diagonal curvature towards the neck. Alright so let's go on to our next step. This time we're going to be doing a little spikes of the dragon. Should be fairly easy, we're going to have a whole bunch of stone brick stairs to kind of go with, but the difficulty is it's going to be in different directions and it might confuse you a little bit so I'll try my best to make sure it's clear for you guys. So what we're going to do, as you can see these two stairs are right opposite each other. So we move to our head, we go one block in on the very top, and then place a stair facing backwards but in the right in an upright direction, and then we go behind and place another one behind it like so. As you can see we've got another stair block on top of the one that we just faced backwards behind it, we go to the front and place another one just directly on top so we have a bit of a diagonal going on. So as we can see we have two blocks kind of in the same direction as this back one that we just did. So let's go and do that. So as you can see we have two blocks left here on the surface so let's just place them all facing backwards but in an upright direction. For the next one what we're going to do is we're going to place a stair forwards. So we have one here. So we have one here, but we're going to be skipping one block there. And we're going to be putting it on the furthest back one instead, like so, and create our second spike. And you see where all these blocks just end from our previous step? We're going to be placing one upside down here, like so, with an L shape going backwards and upside down. And then what we want to do is we want to place one step facing upright and forward on top of that. What we want to do is we want to place a stair right here but upside down. The thing is we can't really do that if we have a slab here so we can always just break that for a second, place a block where that slab was and place one upside down stair facing behind us so this, this direction. Again going in that nice repetitive L shape so we can break that block again and replace our slab down. So what we can do is we can go to this bottom block here, we can build two blocks out with our stone bricks or any block that you have spare and if you want you can you know you go flush flush with this brick here face the floating block that you just made and place the stair like that so it's facing forwards and then of course just break that block that you just placed. Now as you can see it's very it's very much of a 90 degree angle right now so let's grab another stair and we're just gonna place it upside down like so in that little 90 degree gap so it creates a nice flow. So we go to this block here, we place one directly upside down like there, facing up of course upside down but fa facing backwards and then we get another front facing block so let's uh, touch the side here, place it like so so the stair is facing forwards and then place another one upside down against the back of that one. And what we also want to do is we want to shape a bit of the body so we're going to use some stairs to do so. So let's grab both our cobblestone stairs and our stone brick stairs and let's move over here. Now we have our little one, two, one stone brick going on. But for our next step we're going to grab one cobblestone stair 
we're just going to place it on that last one there. So as you can see, it goes one, two, one, and it's just placed on that last one down the bottom. Do the same for both sides as per usual. Now what we also want to do is we also want to touch up the neck. So what we've got here is we have more cobblestone with a one and a two up. And we just place a couple, one, on top of each little edge. And of course, do the same for both sides. Now, just to make the shape of the neck better and more bulky, we're going to be doing this kind of funky shape right here. So, we're going to grab one stair, place it facing backwards like so, do the same for the other side. Let's go to the stair that we just placed, place it upside down like so, and then face the center of your dragon, and do this stair facing the center. Well, technically it's facing outwards, but you place it when you're facing the center. And we do the same to the other side. So again, one upside down, just to kind of make that little shape there. Face the middle of your dragon and place the stair down so the stair is facing outwards. Now what you want to do is you see these two little blank blocks here and here. You want to place just an upright stair on each of those sides. And then you can kind of go under it, face backward, well, front ways, so that you're facing the same way as the dragon, and just, you know, this little area here, just place an upside down stair. We can get to this one. There we go. So it looks like his paws are kind of folding over the shield itself and holding it up. Now we're going to keep moving down the body, and as you can see, we have a few stairs here. So let's do our cobblestone ones first. And as you can see, they're kind of placed precariously on top of our previously placed cobblestone. So let's move over here. And as you can see, it's two and a one. So let's place a stair facing outwards on that one. So fa facing in that direction. And then we go over to this one and make the stair face this direction. We'll do the same on this side. So one there, and then another one on top of your two. Now as you can see, we do have a bit of slab and we've got more feet formation going on there. So let's grab uh, a couple of stone brick slabs. And we need our stone brick stairs. So, as you can see, we've got that little odd hole there. And we want to place an upside down stair in that gap there on both sides. Now, we want to make our feet as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this little L shape. We left those alcoves wide open there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, sit tight, flush with the wall next to us. And we're just going to touch this block to make the stair face this direction and we follow it around in this weird L shape. And again, do that for both sides going outwards like so. So we've got a little bit of a dragon feet right there. He's kind of curved around and you just want to get one little slab and place it there as a little bit of a stairway into your portal. Now we're still working on the shape. So we're going to get more stone brick stairs and we're going to move to this little L. 90 degree angle here. We're just going to place one stair facing outwards as so, and then another one here on the back of our polished andesite. Let's do the same on the other side. So one here and one here. Now we're going to be building up this, this part, which should be all right to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top of the triangle here and we're going to place our stairs facing this direction. So let's place just a couple of up, a few upright stairs like so. And then what you want to do is you want to place two more stairs on either side of this triangle that we had going, facing in opposite directions. Alright, so let's move on to the tail. It's going to start looking fancy. He's got a pretty flat butt at the moment, so let's hope it gets better, eh? Alright, so for this one, you're going to need your birch planks again, you're going to need your cobblestone, and you're going to need all your stone brick variations. So to start off, we're going to be placing... Two, two birchwood planks out from the middle of that triangle shape. One up on the edge there, another one across going backwards, and then you go two up from that block. Just place one stone brick on top of each bare um, birch plank. So you go one, two, and then one. Alright, so after that, you're going to want to place one little birchwood plank on the edge of that stone brick that you just placed and go down one more underneath it. Afterwards you're just going to want to place one on top of that stone brick as well just to create a weird funky curve thing going on. 
and so we can keep building on top we're going to place another stone brick right next to it. After that you want to grab two more birch planks and just build two on top of it so one two like so. So pretty much all these, all these birch ones are outlined in stone brick. So what we can do is we can grab our stone brick again, place them on the right hand edge if you're looking from this side or the left hand edge if you're looking from this side. Just placing it on the little inside curve there. And you want to place one on top of our birch. And then just to make it easy on ourselves for shaping this, we can place one upside down backward stair. After that, we're going to go up by two. So adding two onto that stair that we've just placed and then across by three. Now just to make the shaping a little bit easier, we're going to start adding on our stairs and slabs. So we're going to add three slabs on top of the blocks that we've just placed. So don't put any on this one here, put them on here. So we go one, two, three as such. After that, we're going to start curving it a little. So let's place some slabs just tucked in the corner here and another one on the edge here as that's going to curve around for the tail. It looks like we did make a little bit of a a block placement error here. This isn't this is supposed to be birch instead of stone brick. Apologies guys. So let's just change that one over to birch to make sure it covers the inside of the tail. You probably noticed that and were kind of shouting at me going no that's wrong but it's all right we've got it changed so we'll keep on going with it. So what we want to do as we see those two little stone bricks jutting out there we're going to get a stair and just place it facing the body of the dragon and then we go across one and then place another stone brick block on top of this stone brick here. As you can see the inside is looking a little bit thin so let's place our stairs down there. Let's grab some stone brick stairs and we're going to place one upside down underneath the two blocks that we just previously mentioned. Then instead of placing it like this, you don't want to do that because that shape looks a little bit weird there. So you just want to place one sitting upright facing the dragon. So let's just bulk up this bit here. And as you can see, we're going to place one little block inside the indent we've got going on here and then place a slab in the middle there. What we're going to do is we're going to face a stair backwards off the line of blocks that we have placed here. Let's place one stair facing backwards like so and then place another stone brick underneath it. Place one stair facing backwards off the block we just placed except this time we're going to go down by about two so one two. We're going to add another one onto this to make it three so one two three. Then we're going to be placing an upside down stair on the bottom of that facing downwards like so. Then just to add a little bit of more curve on it, place a stair upright facing towards the dragon. Now just to add a little bit more shape on the inside of that tail, we're going to kind of do the same thing but we're going to place a stair upside down in this little crevice we have going on here. So place that upside down facing the dragon. We've kind of got our little janky tail going on here. But we're going to do one more little bit to do the basis of the tail and that's just one more birch stair in our L shape that we have going on here. So you can see you've got it curving around but there's this 90 degree angle you want to fix. So let's get an upside down stair and just place it in that crevice. Alright so we have the basis of our tail done but it looks very thin doesn't it? So what we're going to do is we're just going to bulk it up a little bit. So we're going to grab some cobblestone, some stone bricks and some stairs and we'll try and bulk it up a little bit more. So we're going to be placing one, one cobblestone block on our stone brick there and then placing another stone brick block on top of that piece of cobblestone. And do the same to the other side. After doing that, let's grab an upside down cobblestone stair, face this cobblestone block that we've just placed and put, that, put one upside down on both sides. After that, place a cobblestone block directly on top and then we place another cobblestone block on top. So once you've done your upside down stair, place two cobblestone blocks on top of each other. Now we've got this new little janky curve going on, but they're basically holding each other in certain ways. So we have one block there and we have one block upside down and another one holding it. So it's like this kind of it juts out a little bit and we're going to do that with our cobblestone. 
So let's go to the top cobblestone block that we just placed, place an upside down piece of cobblestone, go up and place one cobblestone block on top like so, then place another cobblestone stair but facing up right this time instead of upside down. And do the same on the other side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the last curve. So let's go facing outwards and we're going to place an upside down stair on the previous block that we just placed. Then we're going to grab another cobble, two cobblestone blocks, place one, two on top of them, and then we're going to place a stair facing towards our dragon. And do the same on the other side. And that completes the tail. So the last step is the wings. Um, you don't have to do the wings if you don't want to, which is rather cute without them. But if you like, let's continue on and we'll see where we go with it. Alright, so moving on to the very last step of the dragon. These is, this is going to be the wings. And this is probably the most difficult part, as it's very wonky and janky. And if you can find a better way to do it, feel free to experiment. This is a very uh, zigzag kind of thing. Oh, we got our portal going off as well, so we'll be setting that alight, adding a bit of garden around it to make it look a bit prettier. So you, for this one, you're going to want to grab your cobblestone, well not your cobblestone, your stone bricks and your stairs to complete this particular piece. Now, from what it looks like, we've got our wings starting off this particular block. So as you can see, we've got that last spike there, and then we have this small little gap in between where the next triangle was starting. So you're going to want to place an upside down stair facing backwards like so, and do it on both sides. This is the start of our wing support. After that, you're going to want to go to on top of the block and place one stair facing outwards on top and do the same to the other side. After that, you go to the block you just placed and put one upside down underneath on that one facing outwards. Upside down, so it kind of looks like a, a reverse of the L that you just placed. Alright, so you wanna, gonna, you're going to want to get your stairs again and make them face towards the back of your dragon. Then after that, you're going to want to kind of stand in this little nook and cranny here. And make this upside down stair facing in towards your dragon, onto the stair that you just did. And you want to place another one facing in towards your dragon but facing upright instead of upside down. So let's do the same to the other side. One upside down facing towards the dragon and another one on top. Alright, so on the stairs that we've just placed, we're going to be facing one upside down stair outwards from the body of the dragon. So you go to the top of the stair you've just placed from the back of the dragon and make it face outwards like so. Alright so from the stair that we've just placed let's place another stair facing outwards Oops. so they connect to each other. Do the same on the other side so go to the outside and place the stair facing outwards so they all connect. Then what you want to do is you want to get a stair facing forwards towards the front on top of that block that you just placed. And we'll fly back and make sure we're all correct. Wouldn't want to get it wrong. And as you can see we need to place a stair facing inwards again, but upside down. So go to the block you just placed and place, place it upside down but facing in towards the dragon. Now after that you're going to want to go back to your little stair again and you want to place another one facing in towards the middle. Do the same on the other side. We're going to keep building on top of the blocks that we've been placing. After that, you want to go to the side of it this time, on the very outside of it, and you want to place an upside, air, upside down stair facing forwards. Do that on both sides, of course. Now, nice and easy for the next one, you just place another one facing upright on top facing towards the front. Facing upright, is that, is that how it goes? <laughs> so yeah, facing towards the front on the last block that you've just placed. Now we're getting to the tip of the dragon here, so it should be a little bit easier. Now we're going to get another stair and another stone brick block. So we're going to go the block to the block we've just placed, but to the back of it this time. 
and we're going to place an upside there, upside down stair facing outwards. Do that on both sides. And then place another stone brick block on top of it. This will be the tip of our dragon wings. Now this time we're going to grab a slab and we're going to put it on the top of the stair block this time. So you go to your little stair block here, you grab a slab and you just put it next to it. Facing towards the back, jutting out a little bit. Next to that, you're going to want to place a stone brick block, just a solid block right next to it on the very outside edge. On both sides, of course. We're going to go to the block that we've just placed, go right to the, the bottom of that block, except next to it, place a slab on the bottom half, and then place another one underneath that slab. Of course, going towards the back again. Now after that, you're going to want to get two more solid stone brick blocks. So go to the bottom slab you've just placed, place one block there and another one underneath it. So one on the side and another one underneath to get a two by one column going on. Now after that, we're doing that funky pattern again. So we're going to go to the outside edge of the bottommost block that we just placed. We're going to do our facing outward stone, stone brick stairs. On the side of that block, place one stone brick block underneath that, and then an upside down stairs underneath that facing outwards, so it's that little jut again. And do that to the other side, so one, one facing outward stair, one stone brick block, and one upside down stair there. Now we're almost doing the same thing with the next part down. But this time, what we're going to do, is we're going to do, go to this little stair that we've placed here, and place one block facing backwards, place two stone brick blocks underneath it. But this time, instead of doing it in the same rotation as this, we're going to be making this stone brick stair facing outwards this in this particular direction instead. So we're going to get the same for the other side as per usual. Place one stone brick stair facing upright, you know, facing towards the back, two underneath it, and then one stone brick stairs facing outward, upside down, of course. After that, we're kind of getting to the little tip of the wing here. So we're going to be placing one stone brick stair on the back of the stairs that we've just placed. Just make sure we're getting it right. At this time, we're going to go curve back in on itself. So we're going to be kind of, you know, going back to the front ish of the dragon and then placing a stone brick stair facing towards it. Do the same for the other side, like so. So on the bottom of the one that you just placed, one, two, three. One, two, three. After that, you're going to grab a stair, you're going to make it face towards the front of the dragon, place it down there facing upright, and you want to go underneath and place one facing to the back of the dragon upside down. Do the same for the other side. So one facing towards the front and one facing towards the back. Then we have the tip of our wing complete and we have one more little bit wing bit to go. So now this is where it might get a little confusing. So let's see where we are. We're going to be starting it around here at the tip of the dragon wing. So let's go to this little stair at the tip. Place one stair facing towards the front of the dragon upside down and one facing upright, but going towards the back of the dragon. A little bit confusing, I apologize, I would be confused if I was watching this. <laughs> so we're going to go to our tip, see the stair there, place one upside down one facing forwards, then place another one facing backwards. So you've got this little, little jut there. Now as we see here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the last block we placed, place one block kind of sitting upside down but facing outwards like that and then place another stone brick block underneath it. Do the same for the other side. So one facing outwards on the last block we placed and another stone brick block underneath. After that we kind of do another opposite one again. So we go to our stone brick block, we place one stone brick stair facing outwards but upside down and then we face another one facing in <laughs> Wait, we place another one facing inwards on the right side up. So let's go to the bottom of our block here, place one upside down, 
and place another one facing inwards. There we go. It's kind of growing a little bit. It's getting there, isn't it? All right. So under those, we're going to do a couple more stone brick blocks and then one stone brick one facing backwards. So let's place those down. So we go one, two on the last one that we just placed. And then place some stone brick stairs facing backwards, but upside down. Let's go to the left one to reiterate. Go to the last block we placed. Get two stone bricks. Go one, two. And then get your stone brick stairs and put them upside down underneath. So after that, we've got one more little bit to go. And we're almost done. So we'll go to our stairs here. Place one stair facing forwards. Then two stone bricks underneath. And then make one upside down stair facing backwards. And we'll do the same on the other side to reiterate what, what we did. Now that's the shape of our wings pretty much done. They're a bit wonky, but you know, that's how a statue goes. So the last bit is really just adding, you know, a bunch of leaves and ferns around. You don't have to copy me. This is all a bit to taste. You kind of just place them anywhere. It doesn't have to be exact. No, you can kind of just place them down like so. Put them anywhere you like. There we go. Just scatter them around. Place a couple of ferns down for some prettiness. There we go. Probably not there, as that's the entry to the uh, portal. And then get some grass, place it down, make it all pretty. And then we are pretty much done, except you know what we gotta do? We gotta light the portal. So let's just grab our flint and steel and light, light this portal up. And there we go. We have our dragon portal. So hopefully this tutorial was, uh, you know, understandable at least in most aspects for you guys. It was very hard to kind of tell you how to rotate the stairs, but hopefully it wasn't too bad. And those are all the steps. If you'd like me to do more uh, block by blocks, please let me know. And yeah, thank you to Green for giving me the opportunity to make this for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more, please let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. We've still got our time lapse coming. Time lapse is coming, so I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you guys later. All right, bye-bye.